Assalamualaikum and good day everybody. We will continue our learning sessions with the second topic. Let us explore about an overview of financial systems. In this topic, we will focus on four selected subtopics to explain about the financial systems. The subtopic that will be discussed is related to the functions of financial market, functions of financial intermediaries, internationalizations of financial markets and regulations of financial market. Now let's look at the first topic that will be discussed which is related to the functions of financial market. What is the financial market? As we know and already understand the basic functions or the essential functions of financial markets is to channeling funds from household firms and the governments that have saved surplus funds by spending less than their income to those that have shortage of funds because they wish to spend more than their income. The other functions of financial markets is to allow funds to move from people who lack productive investment opportunity to people who have such opportunity. The functions of the financial market also well functioning directly improve the well-beings of the consumer by allowing them to plan their purchase better. This flowchart shows the trends of funds in the financial system found in the financial market. It can be roughly seen there are two trends that channel funds from one party to another. That is directly and indirectly. This flowchart describes how funds are transferred from one person or business without investment opportunities to one who has that opportunity. It can improve the economic efficiency. You can refer to this flowchart in more detail in the field book provided. Based on the flowchart above, found that the left sides of the chart describe the parties who keeps or save their money in the banks and they will find or they will funds or lend their money to others who are more in need. They are known as a lender saver. Usually the parties involved in this consist of household, business and the government. These parties called lender or saver, they often find that they have an excess that why they keep their money in the banks and the money was used to fund other by the banks to fulfill their needs. Meanwhile, on the right side of the chart, it describes the other parties known as borrower spender, where this party is really needs of a loan to cover expenses or finance the projects to be carried out. The parties involved are such as businesses, government and households who need funds for personal use or to cover the cost of the projects that has been planned. This party often finds they lack funds and needs funds from loans made in bank. As explained earlier, the funds that are distributed by the lender saver to borrower spenders are carried out in two ways, namely direct finance and indirect finance. For the direct finance, borrower will borrow funds direct from lender in the financial market by selling them a security or we call it the financial instruments, which are claims on the borrower's future incomes or assets, or the borrower sells security directly to the lenders, for example, corporate and treasury bonds. The security are actually the asset for the person who buy them. That means the security is the assets for the lenders. The borrowers consisting of individual or funds that sell the security will have a liability arising from the sales of the security to the lenders. For example, the firm A needs to borrow funds from savers or lenders. They need the funds because they want to pay or plant a new factory to manufacture new products. It might borrow funds by selling them, which is the lender saver, a bonds or we call it security, which is the debt security that promises to make payment periodically for a specific period of time. So, the liability is the bond that firms A sell to the saver. Now, let us see what is the means by indirect finance. Indirect finance is the routes that connect borrowers and saver through financial intermediaries. For example, banks. As I explained earlier, loans made by borrowers are recognized as a liability. Meanwhile, the assets are to the banks where the borrower will bear the debts made and the bank will get the profit through the assets, for example, the security resulting from the loans made by the borrower. 
Now let's look at the structures of the financial market. It is classified into eight types of markets, which is the debt market, equity market, primary market, secondary market, exchange market, over-the-counter market, money market, and the capital market. The debt and equity market, which is the firms or individuals obtained in financial market in two ways. The first one is issue a debt instruments. We call it the bonds or mortgage. The contractual agreements by borrower to pay the holder of the instrument's fixed dollar amounts at regular intervals, which is the interest and principal payment until specified dates, which is the, the maturity date when a final payment is made. The maturity date is the number of years until the instrument's expiration dates. The debt instrument is divided into three terms. We call it the short term, which is the maturity is less than one year. Long term is maturity is 10 years or longer. And intermediate terms is between one to 10 years. The second way is issuing equities, which is the common stock. Claims to share in the net income, which is the income after expenses and taxes, and the assets of a business. For example, if you own one share of common stock in a company, Let's say 1 million, you are entitled to 1 million of the firm's net incomes and 1 million of the firm's assets. Equity is often makes a periodic payment or we call it the dividends to their holder. Consider long-term security because they have no maturity dates. Owning own stocks. Owning stock means that you own a portion of the firm's and have right to vote on issue importance and to elect its directors. The disadvantage of owning equities rather it than it debts. It's an equity holder as a residual claimant. The corporations or firm must pay all its debts holder before it pays its equity holder. And the advantage of equity holder benefit directly from any increments of corporation profitability or asset value. The debt holder do not share in this benefit because their dollar payments are fixed. The primary and secondary market. What is the primary market? It's a financial market, financial market in which new issue of a security such as bonds or, and stocks are sold to initial buyer by the government's or corporation agency borrowing the funds. Investment bank play the main role. Financial institutions that assist in this initial sales of security in the primary market and not well known to the public because the sellings of security to initial buyer often take place behind the closed door. The secondary market is a financial market in which security that have been previously issued, which is the second hands, can be resold. What will investment bank does? It will underwriting securities, which is it guarantees a price for a corporation's security and then sell them to the public. The second one is the brokers, are agents of investors who match buyer with seller of security. And the third one is dealers, link buyer and seller by buying and selling securities at stated price. When individual buys a security in secondary market, a person who sold the security receive money in exchange for the security, but the corporations that issue the security no new funds only can acquire new funds if sold in primary market. Secondary markets serve two important functions. The first one, they make it easier and quicker to sell the financial instrument to raise cash, make it more liquid and increase liquidity, make more desirable and thus easier for the issuing firms to sell in the primary market. The second one, they determine the price of the security that is issuing firm sells in the primary market. Exchange market and over-the-counter market. Over-the-counter can be organized in two ways. The first one to organize exchanges, where buyer or seller of securities or the agents or broker meet in one central location to conduct trades. Over-the-counter market, dealer at different locations who have an inventory of security stand ready to buy and sell security over the counter to anyone who comes to them and is willing to accept the price. Because of over the counter dealer are in computer context and know the dollar set by one another. 
over the counter market is very competitive and not very different from the market with an organized exchange the last one is money market and capital market money market security usually more widely traded longer term security and so tends to be more liquid short term security have smaller fluctuations in dollar than long term security making them safer investment corporations and bank actively use the money markets to earn interest on surplus funds that they accept to have only temporarily capital market or stock or long term bonds often held by financial intermediaries such as insurance companies and pension funds which have little uncertainty about the amounts of funds they will have available in the future okay guys i will continue the discussions on this topic in the next video with the title of functions of financial intermediaries see you there